hello everyone in this class we will discuss with the help of an example how we can find out the fourier series expansion of a given periodic wave suppose we wish to find out the fourier series expansion of a periodic rectangular wave as shown in the figure a so we can solve this given example in either ways first of all we will find out the expression for the function ft of the given periodic wave for a period t after finding out the expression for ft the next step would be to find out the values of the fourier coefficients a0 by 2 an and bn as per the formula for finding the fourier coefficients after finding out the fourier coefficients we will substitute the values of a0 by 2 an and bn in the expression for the fourier series expansion and thus we can arrive at the final result now the second method for finding the fourier series expansion of a given periodic wave is by examining the symmetry conditions after examining the symmetry conditions for a given periodic wave we will arrive at the characteristics properties of the given wave as per the table given uh, for symmetry conditions so once we know the characteristics property of that wave we can easily figure out what coefficients will be present in its fourier series and which coefficients will be missing in its fourier series expansion thus the fourier coefficients which are, which will not be present can easily be eliminated and we need not find out the values of that coefficient thereby saving our time and labor the problem would be then to find out only the values of those coefficients which would be present in its fourier series and thereby we can find out the fourier series expansion of any given wave now let us discuss the example which is shown here we have taken an example in which we have to find out the fourier series expansion of a periodic rectangular wave which is shown in the figure a the first step as we already told would be to write the expression for the given wave form in one period that is from the interval minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 from figure a we find that the value of ft the value of this function ft is zero from minus t by 2 to minus t by 4 so we have written the value of ft is 0 from minus t by 2 to minus t by 4 we also find that the value of ft is a from minus t by 4 to plus t by 4 and again the value of ft is 0 from t by 4 to t by 2 so we have written the value of the function ft for one period that is from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 now once we have written the expression for, for ft for over one period then the next step will be to find out the values of the fourier coefficients that is a0 by 2 an and bn so first we will find out the fourier coefficient an by substituting the value of f this ft in the expression for an which is given by 2 by t integration from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 of ft cos and omega t into dt 
Now we have substituted the value of ft is equal to a in this expression and we arrived that the value of an comes out to be 2a by n pi into sin n pi by 2. In this expression we have substituted the value of omega t is equal to 2 pi. So we found out that the value of a n comes out to be 2a by n pi into sin n pi by 2. Now from this equation we find that if we substitute the value of n is equal to 2, 4, 6 and so on we find that the value of a n is 0 that is a n is 0 for all even values of n and if we substitute the value of n is equal to 1, 5 and 9 and so on then the value of a n comes out to be 2a by n pi. Similarly, if n is equal to 3, 7, 11 and so on, the value of a n is minus 2a by n pi. Now, we will find out the value of the Fourier coefficient a0 by 2. We know that a0 by 2 is the average value of ft. And from this given waveform, we find that the average value of this function is a by 2. 2. Now after finding the coefficient a n and a 0 by 2, we will next find out the coefficient b n and the expression for the coefficient b n is given by b n is equal to 2 by t integration minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 of f t sin n omega t into d t. Now ft is a, so we have substituted a in, in place of ft. If we integrate this, then we find that the value will come out to be 0. That is bn is 0 in this case. Now once we have found out all the three coefficients, that is a0 by 2, an and bn, we will substitute all these values in the expression for the Fourier series. The expression for the Fourier series is given by ft is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n omega t plus bn sin n omega t. Now we will substitute all these three values that is a0 by 2 an and bn in this expression and we find that the expression of ft comes out to be a by 2 plus 2a by pi into cos omega t minus 1 by 3 cos 3 omega t plus 1 by 5 cos 5 omega t minus and so on. This is the Fourier series expansion for the given periodic rectangular wave shown in the figure A. We can also solve this problem by examining the symmetry conditions for the given periodic rectangular wave. By examining for the symmetry conditions we can easily figure out directly by inspection the characteristics properties of the given periodic wave. We can also know by inspection whether its Fourier series will contain cosine terms or only sine terms or both cosine and the sine terms. Similarly, we can also find by inspection whether its Fourier series will contain odd harmonics or even harmonics. And once we come to know about the characteristics properties of the wave, we need not waste time in determining the values of the Fourier coefficients which will be missing in its Fourier series, thereby saving our time and labor. So the only task would be to determine the value of only those coefficients which will be present in its Fourier series and in this way we can find out the Fourier series expansion for a given periodic wave easily by examining its symmetry conditions. Hope you understood both the methods on how to find out the Fourier series expansion for any given periodic wave.